Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS and Mongo's CRUD tutorial series. In the last episode, we have implemented the GET method which is for reading data. I implemented two methods. Uh, one is FIND, one is FIND by ID. One will retrieve all the documents in the collection. The other would retrieve certain fixed that is by ID. Today, I want to implement the search functionality. It is again a read which is get method, but I want to show you because this is an interesting use case often required when you are doing CRUD operations. Without wasting time, let's get started. All right, so if you haven't checked out the first four parts, I'll request you to kindly do so as this code is being built in continuation. It would make more sense so that you learn entirety and entire CRUD operations with me. This is search functionality tutorial. Today we are implementing get method again, but we'll use find method and I'll show you different variations using regex, etc. Interesting. Let's get started. All right. So if you remember in the last episode, we implemented the get method, two get methods, one for find, one with find by ID. Okay. Today we are going to use find method, but we are going to implement search functionality. Okay search functionality search contacts okay that's what we are going to implement and for that again we will write router dot get and here I'm going to say slash search okay so that's my endpoint but slash API slash I'm going to say contact slash search okay so I'm going to write async and close this and whenever we write async you know what we should do always implement try catch that's the first thing you should do of handling the error straight away and I'm going to say 500 and then I'm going to give a JSON message and I'm going to say no matching records found okay that would be my error message now in the try right so remember when we are searching we will be getting some kind of a input from user okay which is nothing but a query string okay here it was param if you notice here id was in the param but now we are going to see a variation with query okay so we are going to say search term equal to and we have something called dot query that's an inbuilt thing with request and we are going to say search term and we'll save it that means now you have got the search thing now you need to do a build a method in order to find it right so I'm going to say matching contacts equal to await contact dot find okay and I'm going to pass some params to it and what are the going what are the params going to be <coughs> so I'm going to build an or operator okay so we can do one thing otherwise first we can also implement a regular expression to perform a case insensitive right because sometimes people may enter uppercase lowercase etc right so I'm going to say search regex and we are going to say here new reg regular expression and I'm going to say that search term search term should be case insensitive so I'm putting I I means convert it to lowercase <coughs> so now this value that we got search rejects no matter what uppercase was entered it would always be converted to lowercase okay so now here we will write our query we are going to say or that means match anything and in this we are going to implement and say what are the fields that it should search okay so I'm going to say first name it should search with regex same thing you implement with last name email that means search in all the fields wherever it is matching okay of course age we don't want to search because it doesn't make sense it's a numeric <coughs> so take a look at it here I'm extending the find method and inside this I've added or condition and I'm saying match in <coughs> In any of these fields in first name last name or email address and return that data 
so once you do that once you do the find here dot then you get the contacts which are returned as part of the search else catch the error so dot log error response dot status 500 or you can give 400 doesn't matter and you're going to give a message and say unable to find contacts close it here in the then you would just again like I keep saying I write console logs so that I can debug if something goes wrong and here you'll give return back status 200 dot JSON and you are going to give contacts and return the contacts if it's matching <coughs> So take a look at it again. First, we are trying that anything, try this particular block. If no, something goes wrong, return 500 status and say no matching records found. Else, try this. Get the search term from query, build a regular expression with case insensitive, then matching, right? Contacts, okay? And you can just you don't want to do that that's fine you you can just do something like this that's also fine and do a contacts and console.log and return the contacts right <clears throat> so it will take the or condition match it with all the fields like first name last name email for the query term okay that's all we need let's test it to test we need to again bring up and just do and the command we will run to run our server node text.js so our server has started it's connected to db let's go here i'm going to first do a post and going to build few matching records so that we can see them in action so here i'm going to say <coughs> apple and last name corporation email address apple at email.com age say 100 years okay so now i'm doing a post that means i'm inserting the data it says contact saved successfully i'm going to add some more data and this is purely so that I can run my search okay so it says contact saved successfully let's see the data that we got I'm using get method that we implemented in last episode now we are getting all the data we have Apple and we have Intel <coughs> so now I'm going to run my search okay and here we will put question mark and say search term equal to corporation so I'm now searching with corporation because I have two records which should match that data and send so it says unable to find the contact okay so let's see the why it has failed it says object failed to get value for search term cast object failed for search okay so here let's see what is the exact error it says argument must passed in must be a string or 26 byte right so let's see why it is not taking we'll see oh sorry I think I passed the wrong data <coughs> but uh, I have contact slash search 300 search term is the term that is there in the query and the one that we want to send to delete this unable to find contact and here we have the query search term we are taking that and comparing with regex okay this is good so far query dot and why is that let's check query search term let's for debug it by putting a 
console.log and search term <coughs> clear run it again so like I say if you put console logs it will help us in debug mode so here let's see what is the value that we are getting so I am not seeing any value because it is saying cast to object ID failed for value search type string at path for model contact okay so first name last name and email address this is good argument passed in must be string value is search okay I think uh, our API is contact slash S E A R C H that's correct slash I'm going to change it to only search and check it <coughs> because it will take the two values so it says matching contacts is not defined see matching contacts is not defined so that's the problem so it should be contacts okay that should explain why it is failing okay so now you see it's getting the matching terms for us which is corporation we search for corporation and it is giving us the data right so that's simple straightforward all we have done today is expanded the find method by adding this condition which is or right and here what we are doing we are taking the search term and we are then converting it to lowercase and then we are passing it into a regex so that we can compare it on first name last name email wherever it matches it will get you those records if it finds the records we'll return it if not we'll catch the error and we will give back the 500 status so right now our search functionality is working fine if you pass some value which is let's say I pass Apple there is one record by the name Apple so it will give me Apple Corporation if I search Intel it will give me Intel Corporation if I search ABC which is not there it will give me empty records okay so again you can put condition here and check if if you got if the length if contacts dot length is right if contacts dot length then give back the contacts else give response dot status 200 dot JSON message right and give contacts to be empty or you can even give a message if you feel that is appropriate right either way this also will give you empty so here we can give empty contacts and give a message say no matching records found right so there can be different variations of how you want to use it so if you pass something now it see it says empty contacts along with a message no matching records found right so this is how you implement search functionality across different fields using the find method by diff passing different options I hope it's clear I hope now you will be able to implement search functionality in the next episode we'll continue building the CRUD series and we will learn how to update documents existing documents in a collection All right that's the update functionality join me so that we continue learning and continue this series thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode